Hi, my name is Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner specializing in MailChimp training and consulting. In the comments section of one of my videos, I was asked by a viewer how it's possible to tag people automatically that have signed up to an audience in MailChimp using a pop-up form. Now this is actually incredibly simple and I'll take you across to my screen. I'm in MailChimp itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show how we can automatically have people tagged in MailChimp when they sign up based on a particular sign up source. We're going to use Zapier to do this. Now Zapier is really your friend. When you need to do those extra kinds of data manipulation and so on, you can't do in MailChimp itself. So the first thing to say is that, and I'm going to um, view the contacts in my audience, in my MailChimp audience. Um, if we go across, we can see that we have a source column in, in MailChimp, and the source tells us how the person signed up. So in this case, I'm going to target all people that have signed up uh, via a, a pop-up form, for example, and I'm going to tag them. I could use any source, uh, Presta Shop or, or whatever, um, but I'm going to use the pop-up form. Now, I want to tag all people that sign up via uh, the pop-up form. Okay, that's easy enough, where the source is pop-up form. So let me create the tag I want to tag them with. To create a tag, nice and simple, we click Manage Contacts, Tags, and let me just create a tag called Pop-up. So I'm going to click Create Tag, and I'll just call it Pop-up for now, and click Create. So that's the first step we need to do is just create our actual tag called pop-up. Okay, and if I if I uh, uh, scroll down, you can see I now have a pop-up uh, tag. Okay, nice and easy. But let's go across to Zapier because the rest is going to now be in Zapier. So what we're going to do in Zapier is we're going to create what's called a Zap, which is a workflow. We're going to say as soon as someone signs up to our audience in Mailchimp, look at that person, and if the source or the sign up source so sorry i'll just go back back one step if the sign up source column in mailchimp if the source column is pop up form then tag that person in mailchimp okay so let, let's go we're going to click make a zap in zapier you might need to watch this video a few times but that's absolutely fine uh, you can search for MailChimp if you really want to. Mine appears under my app, so I'll just click MailChimp because we want to watch MailChimp uh, for when people sign up. So in MailChimp, choose the trigger event. So let me click the down arrow. When there's a new or updated subscriber or a new subscriber. Okay, I'll, I'll just do new or updated. The difference is obvious here, but I'll do new or updated and continue. Mailchimp says which Mailchimp account should it? Uh, sorry, uh, Zapier says which Mailchimp account should it look at? I'll just choose my demo Mailchimp account, which which was the one we, we viewed a little bit earlier on, and I'll click continue. I then need to choose the audience, the audience which uh, Zapier will look look for new subscribers. So I'm going to click on that, and. A list of my various audiences will come down. Well, my pop-up form is connected to this Gary's demo, so that's the audience I wanted to look at. I'll click continue. And I can test trigger. Okay, so here I can see email addresses that. So it's it's brought in a record from MailChimp itself. And if I actually look down, um, I can see there's a source column and this this person that it's brought in happens to be one person that signed up on pop-up form but it might be something else that's absolutely fine and I'll click continue okay now on this step so we've we've said to Zapier look at this audience in this MailChimp account and look whenever someone is added or updated get that information of that person then what we want to do in this case is actually filter so if we scroll down to built-in apps and zapier there's the filter we want to filter because we only want those people that signed up via the pop-up form in other words in the source column have pop-up so the field i want to choose here 
is called source. So I could, uh, I'll just search for it. It's probably going to be quicker. Um, I'll just type in here, S-O-U-R, um, and there's the source. So I'm going to click on the source field. So only continue if the source, and I could do contains or exactly matches. I'll just do contains. And let's just do here pop-up, just as an example. Um, so if it contains the word pop-up, then continue. So get that record. If if there's a new re or new record or an updated record, check if the source is pop-up. If it's not pop-up, don't continue. If it is pop-up, well, then continue to the next step. So I'll click done editing. And the next step then is add a tag to the person or the contact record in MailChimp. So here, the next step I again want is MailChimp because I wanted to update that original record in MailChimp. My app is MailChimp, choose the action event. I'll click the down arrow and it's add or update subscriber because I'm wanting to add a tag to that person. I click continue, choose the account. So this will be the same account, the same uh, audience that I selected earlier. So I've, ch I've chosen the MailChimp account. I click continue. Um, I need to choose the audience. It's going to be the same audience as I chose earlier because I'm wanting to just to tag the same people that I added to that, that audience. Uh, the mandatory information required here is the email. So if I click on the email, what I'm wanting is to look at the original email or the email that was brought into Zapier in that first step. So I'll click on that and click the email field. Okay, so uh, that's email. I don't need to update anything else at this time unless I really want to. However, uh, where was tags? Um, Sorry, just give me one moment. I always uh, battle to find a little bit. Oh, there we go. So what do I want to tag people? So I need to change this. Or, or this. So I said I wanted to tag them, uh, that pop-up tag that I created. So I'm going to click the down arrow. And let's just type in here, pop. And there it is. So I'm going to select pop-up. So that's what that person's going to be tagged. So that person, uh, that email, is going to be tagged with pop-up. And I could add more tags if I really want to. But now I'm going to scroll down and click continue. And uh, MailChimp uh, shows me uh, various tests, and you can look through the test uh, information and, and check that it's correct. Uh, click test and continue, and we'll just wait for that to save. And then you would turn on the zap, and turn on the zap means run. So what will happen then is, depending on what uh, plan you have with Zapier. If it's a free plan, it looks every 15 minutes and runs every 15 minutes. Um, if you're on a paid plan, it, it depends what plan you're on and, and the zaps run more often. But what happens is once we turn on the zap, it just runs in the background. And every time you add or someone is added to your audience in MailChimp, it'll take that person. It'll look at the uh, source column. If the source column is pop-up or contains pop-up, it'll continue to the next step, which means it will then tag that person it got in the first step with pop-up. And that's that's the requirement, that's it set. So that's how simple it is to automatically tag people in MailChimp based on the sign-up source, which in this case happened to be uh, pop-up. But thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel. My name's Gary from organicweb.com.au.